What's up everybody? Zero here and playing a little bit of Domination on Array and I'm doing something a little bit different this game. I decided to go back to the defensive play style and to really top it out I decided to get me a nice burst weapon and run ghost and just come up here and try to defend A and B but I do that till I run out of ammo and then I kind of start running around picking up other weapons and I go on a pretty nice kill streak but first part of this is a little bit campy and then it picks up, and then it kind of dies off because I have trouble finding anybody to kill because my team's doing so good after that. But, anyway, I don't know how much more I'm going to talk about the game. I'll talk a little bit about my day today. It's been a quite interesting day. Started out my day waking up at like 7 this morning, getting ready to go to the doctor. Ended up at my doctor's appointment at about 9 o'clock, and sat there waiting around a little bit, and narrowly avoided a finger up the ass. I'm not quite old enough to start getting that at my yearly physicals, but it was close. This guy's oblivious right here. That's why I like that little area right beside the ladder. But, yeah, they could have been worse. Could have got a finger up the ass, which... It did turn out pretty crappy toward the end because I had to get some blood drawn, and they made me fast for 12 hours before that, and... Unlike most Americans, I don't have a whole lot of extra to go around to keep me sustained, so... I was feeling pretty crappy by that time, pretty lightheaded, and felt like I was going to get sick anyway, and then adding drawn blood on top of that, and she put the needle in my arm like five or six times and never did get any blood. Also, I was dehydrated by that point in time too, so that probably didn't help. And ended up uh, actually having to lay on the floor because I was about to pass out, which is just humiliating as hell. Usually I can sit there and watch them draw blood and not have any problems. And I have passed out once, but I was really, really hung over that day when I didn't know I was going to have blood drawn. And Don't ever have blood drawn when you're hung over, because <laughs> it's just a bad combination. So yeah, I ended up laying on the floor like a little bitch getting my blood drawn. And After it was done, they gave me a Capri Sun or some bag of juice. I think it was Capri Sun. And I drank that, and I was just like, oh, there we go. That's all I needed. And they looked at me as soon as I finished it, and they are just like, whoa, you look like ten times better than you did when you even walked in the room. Like, yeah, I've been fasting for like 12 hours. I need some fucking food. So promptly left there and went and got some food and started my day. And, yeah, pretty much spent my day just sitting on my ass after that, which I can't complain about. Sitting on your ass doing absolutely nothing is kind of fun every once in a while. Of course, I think I do it a little bit too often. I need to get a gym membership or something. I typically feel a whole lot better when I'm in really good shape, and I'm not in good shape now. I'm in horrible shape. So I need to work on that. There's a lot to be said about staying fit from many different aspects. I mean, not only do you feel better when you've had a good workout, you sleep better that night, which in turn leads to you feeling better the next day. Your body releases all sorts of chemicals. Plus, you know, you get all buff and shit and you feel better about yourself. You have that nice positive self-esteem. Pretty much everything about it is just all positive. Is this where I get killed by the corner camper? No. Somewhere in here I get killed by a guy just sitting in a corner. Pisses me off. So shameless. So, I think if I start working out, in combination with eating healthy and everything else. Life might be pretty sweet if I can get on day shift, because this night shift shit is still just bullshit. I hate it. It's okay when you're young and out to party and not looking to, you know, have a relationship or start a family or anything like that. But once you get old and things start going downhill and you start wanting to settle down, it'll just destroy any semblance of life, because... Yeah. Who the hell's awake at 3 in the morning? <laughs> Not really anybody, except all the young people out partying, which if you don't feel like being out partying with all them anymore, then you're pretty much shit out of luck. I guess I could just start partying again, but that just seems like a bad idea. I don't think my body can handle it anymore. I know I can't drink like I used to be able to. So yeah, that's what uh, my day has been like, and that's what's been going on with me lately. Not really looking forward to the next two days. Gotta work nights, but then I flip my schedule over, and on October 1st, I get to do something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. 
it's not that I've really been looking forward to it, it's just that I've been putting it off and putting it off and been wanting to do it for a long time. So, I finally got it scheduled, and I am taking my concealed carry weapons class on, what, I guess that's a Saturday? Yeah. Lasts for four hours, I'm taking it for Oregon and Utah, which will allow me to carry a concealed weapon in 33 states, I think. Pretty much every state west of the Mississippi, which I don't really plan on going east all that often, so it doesn't really matter to me. Everywhere I ever go is on the west side. So, we'll see if I can even get that. Here's the corner camper. <laughs> It'll be kind of cool if I do, but I don't know if I will, because I did have some assault charges against me a couple years ago. I think it was 2008, 2007, sometime in that time frame which was kind of bullshit, but yeah, so we'll see if they let me have it, because the charges got dropped, but who knows, they're kind of crappy about it, especially in this state, they seem to like to give it to a lot of people, really but then they seem to away. like to keep this whole tough on crime appearance, so even if you're accused of a crime, it still is held against you no matter what. The stupidest part of that whole thing is the reason that I was originally charged and there was even suspicion that I had assaulted someone was because when the police showed up they saw a bruise on the other person's knuckles. Uh, that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If somebody has bruised knuckles, wouldn't that indicate that uh, they fucking punched somebody? That's kind of what I think, but who knows. So I ended up getting charged with assault. I actually ended up having to spend a year actually a little over a year in anger management class, which was just a joke because, oh, all my friends thought that was fucking hilarious because I'm fucking laid back and chill all the damn time. So there was one time that I ended up getting banned from apartment pom uh, my friend's apartment complex, but that was because uh, the lady in the office just started yelling at me for no reason when I tried to ask her a question. I guess she thought I was trespassing or trying to sneak in or something. I just started yelling back at her, but typically I'm just laid back and chill all the time, and so me being in an anger management class was just a running joke for a long time. Although I will say it was a very good class, and I think everyone, no matter how laid back they are, would benefit from something like that, because it didn't just uh, teach you how to control your anger, which it was mainly about setting your life up and interacting with people and all the stuff to avoid conflict and have general agreeable disposition all the time, which sometimes, even if you're not confrontational and if you're just laid back and chill and try not to piss people off, that's not going to stop other people from being a bitch and getting all pissy with you and trying to start shit, so I think everybody could benefit from something like that. It's more of a lifestyle coaching thing, I guess, is what I would call it. I still thought it was fun to laugh about, though, because me and anger management just seemed so out of the ordinary. But after I went through that, all the charges were dropped, so we'll see if that keeps me from getting my permit or not. It hasn't stopped me from buying guns, which there for the whole entire time, almost two years that I was on probation. I was actually on legal probation, too. I couldn't have any of my guns in the house. I was also getting piss tested every, well, randomly. So it only happened like a couple times within the first four months, and then the next year they never even touched me, but they could test me at any time. And so no drugs, no alcohol for like a year and a half. And ugh. after about five months of sobriety, I started getting really weird. Like the kind of stuff you typically would think somebody drunk would be doing was the kind of stuff that I was doing because I was sober. I was hanging out the windows of people's trucks, yelling at chicks on the side of the road like, Bitch, your fucking lip gloss does not match your fucking eyeshadow. And my friends would be looking at me really weird, because first of all, that statement's really gay, and second of all, why the hell am I hanging out the window of the car screaming this at people on the street? But, I don't know. I guess sobriety's a bad thing in some people. <laughs> One of them being me. Anyway, that's the game. End of the commentary. Nice kill cam here. I wish that was mine. But if you enjoyed it, feel free to give a comment, thumbs up, and I'll see you later.